we respectfully acknowledge that the land on which the Lake Country Museum is situated, where this lesson was developed and this video recorded, is on the unceded territory of the Selic Okanagan people. Thank you. In 1860, over a hundred years ago, settlers began planting fruit trees in the Okanagan. This was tricky for them because the land was so dry. Actually, the Okanagan area was so dry, it became known as the Interior Dry Belt. This meant that farmers had a big challenge to deal with. How were the farmers going to water their trees since the ground was so dry? The farmers had access to an incredibly large body of water known as the Okanagan Lake, but the problem was getting the water to the trees. The Okanagan, especially in the areas around Lake Country, has tons of long, incredibly tall hills. As we know, the water from the lake can't flow uphill, so these farmers had to come up with another plan. Thankfully, on top of these hills were some small, hollowed lakes. One of which is where Jack Seaton Park is now. Instead of taking water from the Okanagan Lake at the bottom of the hill, they took water from these smaller lakes at the top of the hill but they still had to figure out a way to get it to all the trees. So, to bring the water where it needed to go, these farmers built streams using pipes and a special contraption called a flume. A flume is an above ground trench meant to transport water from one place to another. One of the people behind building these new water flumes all across Lake Country was a man known as John Wesley Arnold. John was born in Ontario and traveled all the way across Canada to Lake Country in 1910, over a hundred years ago. He was married to a lovely woman named Lucinda Yacht and had two sons, Arthur and Nelson. What is really amazing is that during the day, he built the flumes to transport the water all across the area. And then at night, he worked building a home for him and his family. Without the flumes and the other waterways, Lake Country could not have had any of the orchards or fruit trees that we have today. They just wouldn't have grown. So, because of John Wesley, we now have all these amazing fruits and plants growing, and those flumes that he built was truly an amazing accomplishment. 